Number four, narrow it down and get specific. This is huge because we'll get into online advertising, but you really need to understand if, for example, if you're a life coach, I always make kind of fun of life coaches, um, bit of the title, not of people, but of title of the title because it's very broad. It's just too broad. It's like saying, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a human being. I mean, you know, it's just, it's so generic that if you're a life coach, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, you know, don't take what I just said in the wrong way, but you need to narrow it down. If you want to do coaching, great. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've been coached since I was eight years old, even younger, actually. I started tennis when I was three. So I've had coaches since I was three years old uh, when I was playing pro tennis. So what you want to do is uh, you want to, you know, you really want to narrow it down. You want to be the coach to busy executives, right? And that's your niche. Or you want to be, um, you know, you only want to consult for businesses that do between one to five million a year, and that's you know your target market. Or, you know, you want to be the the, you know, you want to train like if you're a PT or personal trainer, you only train golfers, for example. So you really want to pick your battles, and yes, you'll be sacrificing, you know, segments of the market, but. When you get narrow, that's when you can raise your fees. That's when you become an authority. That's when you can pick and choose your clients. If you're Mr. Generic, how are you gonna how how are you gonna establish your authority if you don't have any, you know, specific area of expertise? So even if you have several areas of expertise, you really want to choose which one you want to go first. And, and look, you can, you can have several areas, but you really want to brand it differently. So you don't want to be the general coach. You want to be, like I said, the executive coach, like only for you know, CEOs or only for CMOs. You know, just pick your battles. Um, and then you can have, you know, you also want to coach, for example, I don't know, uh, college students. You can be, you know, a coach for executives, but you and and you know, you can also allocate, I don't know, 30% or 50% of your time to coaching college students, but it's a different brand, right? So narrow down and get specific. You need to know who is your target market. Go to MatthiasMazur.com to watch the full episode and connect with Matthias on social media. See the links in the description below.